Hey guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Can you see that? Maz, that's enough. Come here. This. So because I'm still waiting on parts from the 60 and it's kind of just a, a bit of a boring waiting game at the moment to get myself back being excited, we're gonna fit some one stone armrests, which if you followed my Instagram for a while, you would have seen them on the 75. So I'll put a clip here. So I actually fitted them live on my Twitch channel. So I live stream on Twitch. Because they're made for the, the 70 series, not specifically made for a 60 series, we're gonna have to do a little bit of modifying, but they went straight onto the 75. So it was a very quick install. So I'll go on there. 60's out there. Got the Marzi boy. I'm there's a chopper. I could make a whole YouTube channel about that. Things that just interrupt my video. I know it doesn't bother you guys so much, but for me editing it does because I'm gonna edit it out or I'm gonna talk over it. As the grumble bum. <laughs> Are you ready? What? I'm drilling. Love it how you love me electric like you do Love it how you love me electric always you Love it how you love me electric electric I Love it how you love me a lot love me a lot love me electric Baby keep the light on for me I'm coming home No I got you for wherever I go I feel like I'm high I thought they just fitted well, you come tell me if you want to force it on a bit more or not. Force it in a bit more? Yeah, force it in a bit more. This goes on the same as your car? Yeah. It slots in the top? Yeah, but it's not magnetic. See? It's kind of like... Okay, so what were you going to drill? I um, bolted it and then just drill the holes further out so then it has more, you know? What's going to hold it there then? It just hangs there. You'd have to get these holes right so it's wedged. That'd be too far. That's too far, you reckon? Fucking oath it would be too far. So pretty much this is how it fits at the moment. That is about as far as I can get it on. So it has this lip which hooks on to your windowsill. It's supposed to sort of stay on with these magnets, but obviously because I have trim can't really rely on the magnets so I kind of want it to be a really tight fit. So what I'm going to do is actually unbolt these bolts and then slide this whole metal section out so that it can sit further out. That's the plan. It's going to unbolt all of these. For anybody else with the 60 series I've heard that people can get them to fit. I reckon it would depend on your trim. I think it would pop off a lot. That's what I'm trying to get at. Got some new jacks off-road version. <laughs> Pretty cool. Ta-da! The sky is so pretty. Ah, you can't really see. Okay. So we've got our plate with our holes. I mean, it kind of works. Now the other side. Okay, hey guys, so it is the next day. So it was getting a bit dark last night, so I cut the video. 
I'll show you how they fit on the 75 um, and I've had them on there for a few months. If you watched the NT video, you would have seen the kind of roads we were driving on. They did not move. They didn't move, they didn't rattle. Because of the magnets on the metal door, they don't move. The only way to sort of get the 75 ones off is to lift them up from the bottom. It comes back to where it was. And I don't find it moves at all. And I have my big iced coffees in it. The only issue that I have found is when I close my door, which you have to close like old 70 series, quite ferociously when the other door is shut. And if you have a drink in here, uh, the drink will come out. So I've never had an issue with spilling for driving or on rough roads, but if I slam the door, yeah, I just lift it up and close the door. Okay, so this one, they do actually magnet slightly. Either way, we will make it work. I think what I'm gonna do is double side is double sided tape where the magnets normally are so that it's double sided taped to the door. Look, they don't move when you close the door. Get my seat right. <laughs> oh yes. gonna show you what the next mod is which I'm probably gonna do tomorrow afternoon because I still have to do washing and it's getting dark again this is a bonnet strut from single strut co the ones that I have in the 75 are from BT cruiser struts I think a lot of people when they have dual batteries because I had to cut into my dual battery tray to fit the other strut on that side so I think these suit people who don't want to do that <laughs> And it's just one big girthy boy. This should be pretty easy. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So it is the next day. <laughs> this week in Australia, we had Are You Okay Day. Pretty much, it's a day about mental health. It's checking on your mates. I'm 28 and I'm somebody who's been to more funerals than I've been to weddings. <laughs> and I don't know if that just means I have no friends who are getting married, but majority of those people were under 40. And it's something I think that completely changes your whole outlook on how people are actually doing as opposed to what front they put on. I am somebody who's very good at pretending to be okay when I'm not okay and I think it just comes from I don't ever want to burden burden other people. I think it's easy to look at people online and think they have this amazing life because you don't want to share your bad times online like you want to lift people up you want them to have a good day you share your good stuff you share you know when you've graduated you don't share the night sitting in your room you know, thinking, what is a way out of not doing this assignment? Some people, it's going to be hard to get through. It's going to be hard to really find out if they are okay. So I don't want anybody to think, looking, I guess, at my page or, or anything that is going on with me that I don't have times that are struggling. I rely a lot on consistency. It kind of gets me through a lot of things. So there's this one guy that I've watched for years who uploads gaming videos. Every single day, his time is my morning. So when I get up in the morning, I'm getting ready for work, I watch his videos and it's a routine habit that I've gotten into that's like that little thing to look forward to. And it's why I think I wanna try and stream on a regular basis so that if anybody is just needing somewhere to go, who's home alone or in lockdown, can just go and hang out and just chat to some other people. And majority of us are all, all into four drives. And you can just chat in real time. YouTube videos are good, but they're not real time. If you're struggling right now, it's a good place to go. I've been in a relationship pretty much since I left school. I'm somebody that has always just wanted a constant. Every relationship I've ever been in, I don't go in half arsing it. Unfortunately, not all relationships work out, as we all know. So that means I've had to start again many times. Save up, you get joint furniture, you get joint bank accounts, you do all these things together and when it all kind of falls apart, I'm not somebody to sort of sit there and go, I want this, I want this. I just usually leave. Starting again has been my life the last 10 years, pretty much. I've just started again. I have 
very disjointed furniture had to say goodbye to doggos the starting again for me has been a lot and that's kind of the stuff i don't share because a lot of the times the things that i'm going through involve other people which is not my place to share really that's the point i'm trying to get across that not everybody's life is perfect we all have struggles i can pretty much hold myself together but a lot of you guys would have known that my family dog passed away who has been in my life since you know before i even kissed a boy and that was the yeah, <laughs> that pushed everything off the edge. I was fine, I was holding it together, and then bloop, gone. The shop, you want olives and milk? Yes, please. Put that back on the ground. Wash it. Thank you, have a cookie. I watch far too much TikTok, or not enough. One or the other. Oh, the Marzi boy is going. <laughs> anyway, very grateful for the life that I've had. I will put some details and some really good links down below. There's an, an awesome company called Trademark who has some really good information. They send out some really good emails. They're more up to date with what's going on in the community. the nut as a spacer, which is what it said, even though it feels weird. 670, the bottom of the bracket. So we're gonna drill the bracket on now. Cause that would be boring, spend my last set on cheese and champagne. anymore. I don't think I've actually shown you guys this engine. It's not very exciting. It is a shit fun. <laughs> um, and this is the bit of rust that I was talking about. These are the extractors that come off the petrol motor. So the engine mount on the petrol is here where the 12H was back over here. Pretty much all of this will be coming out. The only thing I'm probably leaving is the brake booster and that battery position. I also don't think I showed you guys, 60 is now registered. So these are my old plates off my 75. I don't know if you guys would remember them before he had the old boy plates. This is what I ran. So they were a limited edition plate when Queensland won eight in a row. If anybody wants to try and argue that New South Wales has won more, State of Origin started in 1980 and anything before then doesn't count. So suck it New South Wales. Uh, these plates traveled around with me while I was moving with defense. So good little time sake.
Okay guys, so I will end this video here. Thank you very much for coming along. And, and if you want to keep up to date with what I'm actually doing day to day, jump over and follow my Instagram page. I'm there every single day, so you can pop in and ask me questions. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. What are you doing? What are you doing? You have to cover up your scars. This is not a ball. You're perfect on no. just the way you are. So before you think oh. to rip yourself apart, open up my heart and you'll find you'll never have to